Have you ever wondered how many people touch the same elevator buttons as you every day? And how many of them could be infected with COVID-19? And what can you do to reduce the risk of getting infected from them? Hello and welcome to Curiosity, where we explore fascinating topics from history, science, culture and more. Today, we are going to dive into a question that might concern many of us who live or work in high-rise buildings. Is copper film on elevator buttons effective in preventing COVID-19? What is copper film and why is it used on elevator buttons? Well, copper film is a transparent film that contains ionized copper, which is a metal that has antimicrobial properties. This means that it can kill or inhibit the growth of microorganisms, such as bacteria and viruses. Copper film is used to cover surfaces in public areas, such as elevator buttons, to reduce the risk of fomite transmission of COVID-19. Fomite transmission is when a person gets infected by touching a contaminated object and then touching their eyes, nose, or mouth. But how effective is copper film on elevator buttons? And how does it compare to other methods of prevention, such as wearing masks, social distancing, and hand hygiene? According to some studies and experts, Copper film on elevator buttons can be effective in preventing COVID-19 transmission, but it is not a foolproof solution. For one thing, copper film does not kill the virus instantly. It takes some time for the copper ions to interact with the virus and destroy its structure. Depending on the type and thickness of the film, this process can take from minutes to hours. Therefore, if someone touches an infected button and then touches their face before the virus is deactivated, they can still get infected. Another thing to consider is that copper film does not prevent aerosol transmission of COVID-19. Aerosol transmission is when a person gets infected by inhaling tiny droplets of virus that are expelled by another person through coughing, sneezing, talking, or breathing. Aerosol transmission can occur in enclosed spaces with poor ventilation, such as elevators. Therefore, even if the buttons are covered with copper film, if someone shares an elevator with an infected person who is not wearing a mask or keeping a distance, they can still get infected. The bottom line is that copper film on elevator buttons can be effective in preventing COVID-19 transmission, but it is not enough by itself. It should be used as a complementary measure along with other methods of prevention, such as wearing masks, social distancing, and hand hygiene. These methods are more reliable and proven to reduce the risk of infection. So next time you take an elevator, don't rely on copper film alone. Wear a mask, stand away from others, touch as little as possible, and wash or sanitize your hands after exiting. These simple steps can make a big difference in protecting yourself and others from COVID-19. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching Curiosity. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.